Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here for your May love forecast. Let's tap into the energies of what's going on in love. Now, you guys, just as a, um, a, a in, informative piece right here, be mindful. There are three planets that are currently in retrograde, okay? We've been talking about this a lot on the Lotus Love Show because we definitely have been seeing um, the effects of these uh, planets being in retrograde. You got Pluto um, that's in retrograde. You have Saturn that's in retrograde. And Venus just went in retrograde on May 13th. Um, this is not the time to make any financial commitments. This is a, not a time to make any drastic moves in love right now because um, you just need to try to really work with these energies that's coming forth. Okay? Now, first and foremost, I always want to thank you guys for your love and support that you continue to give the channel. Just a little bit about the reading that we're about to embark on. Um, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and definitely your Venus sign. Okay? Hello to our cross watchers out there. Um, you guys do keep in mind that the energies can flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it definitely can relate to your partner. Um... There's no time limit on these readings, so it could have happened three months ago, could have happened today, could happen in the very near future. If you have Instagram, go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. This deck does not want to act right. Okay. Um, yeah, follow us on Instagram at Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Um, don't forget to join us here every Monday through Thursday for the Lotus Sh Love Show at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wow, we got cards flipping out already. This is your life purpose. Let go of fear now. All right, so that was for somebody already. Um, what else I need to say? Oh, you guys, we do have a Patreon. Please, 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 if you can, join our Patreon because we are, we already got a lot of good stuff over there, but we are really about to just crank it all the way out. If you really want to make some changes in your life, I encourage you to join our Patreon because we are about to take it one step at a time. We're going to actually do some serious steps in changing our lives for the better, letting go all of letting go of all the toxic toxicity um, that surrounds or surrounds us and trying to pull us out of our right energy. Okay, um, you guys subscribe to the channel if you would hit that like button, and every time we release a reading, you will be notified. Okay. All right, we have finished our shuffle now. On to your reading. Hello, my Aquarius. Okay, you guys, I was looking back at your... Oh, and I noticed that your candle is not lit. Let me do that right now. You all know I like to do my readings with your candle lit. All right. So I was looking back at your reading from, who was that, April. And somebody was forced in love. Okay, love was being forced. So let's just see where you are now. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the Son of Aquarius. As it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to go forth for the Son of Aquarius? Okay. Are there any more messages for the son of Aquarius? Okay, there it is. All right. That right there. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, this one fell out. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? As it relates to the love forecast for, okay. I don't know if that's the same card or not, but it, it, that is just determined it was coming out. Any more messages for the sign of Aquarius? Any more messages for the sign of Aquarius? Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator, universal messages need to go for for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to go for for the sign of Aquarius? 
What messages need to be full for the sign of Aquarius? Spirit, divine creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as it relates to the love forecast for May 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? As it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to come forth for the sign of Aquarius? All right, you guys. That one's, take, that one's making a little pose for us, isn't it? <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's see what's going on with the Aquarius. And you guys, make sure you tune in to the Lotus Love Show Monday through Thursday. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go back and look at some of those lives that we did uh, last week. Because, um, you know, we do a live Monday through Thursday for Aquarius. You all have had some very um, emotional readings. Okay, love yourself first. And this is the same line as arm right here. This is what I'm talking about. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so, I mean, this is really very clear from the very beginning, Aquarius, about this love yourself first. And I feel like that is the same kind of energy is going forth in those, those lives. Make sure you go back and check those out. Make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. All right, so it looks like that's a good space to be in. Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. This could relate to anything. This could relate to a job. Um, this could be the same card here with this expert and your friends helping you. One of your friends may have information of a situation that you need, okay? Um, this could really, but you need to consult this expert to get this information that is needed. Could be a job, could be school, could be related to a house, um, could be a relationship, meeting a counselor, it could be anything. Mother healing, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Okay, so now you could be the mother of a child that needs healing for a specific area. Um, could be you're not getting along. Could be um, a death. It it could be it could be a range of things that healing is needed. Could be someone could be sick. Um, so it could be you as the mother or you as the child and your mother. Okay, but something is needing to be healed. Um, in a situation um, that may not resonate with everybody. I tell y'all all the time, sometimes only one person can they come or sometimes one person can get a message through um, just to help them with the space that they're in. Your children are watched over by angels. Oh, that's beautiful. Especially those who may have children right now that are in a specific space and you don't know which route to go. You don't know how to really help. They're being watched over by angels as you go through this. Autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So you need to be sowing good seeds right now because the autumn time is seeming to be magical for you and what you really need. Seems like you're needing to do your research now, putting attention on yourself with that love yourself first, putting attention on you getting help from your friends, getting help by consulting an expert, making a wish, really understanding what you need for those that have children. Your children are being watched over. Things are manifesting for you in autumn, but there's a situation also that could be going on with someone and their mother that needs to be healed or you are the mother in a situation needs to be healed you could be in a battle right now with you and your husband or you and the, your your child's father so on and so forth or your child's mother and there's a healing that needs to take place with that mother figure uh, within the next few weeks okay so within the next few weeks something i feel like within the next few weeks this is when you need to make sure all of this research all of this healing all of this understanding of what you need to do to love yourself first all of that needs to be in place so everything can manifest for you in autumn i feel like within the next few weeks you need to really decide how you're going to move out and how you, and what you're going to do um i feel like that's what that's what's happening here okay holy spirit divine creator the universe what messages need to be for the sign of aquarius as it relates to 
with the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? You saw that card during your shuffle. Sure did. Okay, my Aquarius, you have the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Two of Pentacles. And your overarching energy is the King of Wands in reverse. Okay. Um, could be dealing with a Aries Sagittarius Leo here with these wands. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All signs are actually represented. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You're starting off with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So this could be you showing up in your own sign. Okay, you do have an angel number that's coming through. You have a three and a two right here, which is five. And you have a five here. So fives are definitely coming through for you. Make sure you look up those fives for additional messages, okay? Now, with the five of swords, this is... Somebody's being sneaky. This is something somebody could have been bullied in a situation. Theft could have taken place. This could be abusive relationship, mental abuse, could be physical abuse. Uh, somebody could be taken advantage of in this situation right here. And that's why spirit is telling you to love yourself first. Let me go ahead and take this one out. Love yourself first, okay? Let your friends help you, okay? You're needing to, to love yourself first through whatever situation that happened that you felt like this is what you were receiving in this relationship. This is, you know, people walking away with their heads down because this person kind of took advantage of them. And then we go right into let your friends help you, which is this card here. Okay, with the, with the three of cups, that is support. That could be family support, um, a circle of support around you with your friends. Um, this could be friendship. Okay, this could mean that loving yourself first means that you might be going to do some type of celebration or, you know, get involved with something where you are celebrated or you're feeling the, the, the heart of being celebrated. Okay, but that, I mean, your cards are definitely falling in line with where we are. Um, you're needing the help. You're needing the support from this situation right here. Uh, because right now with this nine of wands in reverse, this is exhaustion. Um, this is fatigue. This is having just simply just a lack of motivation. Okay, so you're not really wanting to um, get, in, get involved. And I can understand that because you have a lot here that you're dealing with. You know, with the, having to consult an expert, needing support, spirit telling you need to love yourself first. The situation going on with the mother. Your children being, you know, being told that your children are okay. But you have, you're doing, you need to get this together within the next few weeks. Okay, you're weighing your options now. This is where you need to actually weigh your options to decide what you need to do. Okay, this is you actually making a decision, but weighing them, trying to figure out, you know, what is best for me. You know, I know I got two choices here. You know, you might have a couple options that you can go as far as trying to get yourself in order and how you need to proceed. So you need to decide what's the best route for you and the quickest route for you. Because you could be dealing with this King of Wands here. This is somebody that's overbearing. Okay? Um, could be dealing with an, a, a fire sign here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But this is somebody who's overbearing. This is somebody who's very, very impulsive. Okay? They have unachievable um, expectations here. Okay? So this is definitely that energy that you could be um, dealing with. So we're going to go into the extended. And as we get into the extended, we're going to try to dig a little further into these situations here on what you need to make a wish for, the situation going on with this mother, why your friends need to help you, how do you need to go about loving yourself first, okay? Um, what, is getting involved, what is involved with this situation right here, okay? And then we actually pull some, um, some advice for you from the Lover's Oracle, okay? All right, my loves. Um, Meet me on the other side. Information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.